Hello and welcome to Producer's Notes number 10 for DCS Black Shark. Now, since the release of Black Shark, we've been seeing a fair amount of posts uh, online of uh, people trying to get their heads around the trimmer system in the Black Shark. So in this note, we're going to be uh, discussing uh, how the trimmer system works to uh, help you fly a little bit better. Now, the most important thing you need to remember about the trim system, the Black Shark, is, is that it's completely different than the trim system of a conventional uh, fixed-wing aircraft. Now, in a fixed-wing aircraft, your trim system is generally by uh, adjusting the different um, trim tabs on the control surfaces, uh, the ailerons, the elevators, and the, uh, the rudders. Now, in the Black Shark, it is completely different, so forget everything you know about a fixed-wing aircraft. Instead, all the trimmer system does is that it repositions the center uh, move point of the cyclic control stick. So let me um, demonstrate this to better explain it. So uh, here in the cockpit, I got my stick, and I can move it forward, I can move it back, and left and the right. Now what I can do is, if I move it forward, I can have it essentially be stuck there, and that be the center point of all further movements of the control stick. So to do so, I move it to the point I want, I hit the trimmer switch, release it, and then release the stick on my uh, desk here. And as you can see, now the um, stick in the cockpit is at that new center point. Now note that the trimmer is not actually set until you release the trimmer button, not when you first press it. Now if I go ahead and release the trimmer, you'll see the stick automatically goes back to the center point. Now it's also very important to know that when you release uh, the trimmer button, you need to then uh, neutralize your control stick within uh, 0.5 seconds after that. Okay, very important. We'll see the, uh, why uh, here in just a, just a minute here. So we're gonna go ahead and take off and uh, we'll take a look at this in operation. So I'll go ahead and uh, release my brake. You'll see they have the, uh, the trimmer centered up. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is I want to you know, go ahead and I'll do some uh, negative pitch to about 10 degrees, get me moving forward, and I want to uh, essentially set my trim at this position. So I'm going to uh, push forward on the, uh, the button, release it, and center my stick. In doing so, um, I know you can't see it, but here on my uh, desk, I'm not even touching uh, the, my joystick. It's centered at that new position now. Now some of you may note in the game sometimes you'll be flying along with trim and you'll reset the trim and all of a sudden your nose wildly, wildly pitches up. Uh, that's because when you do so, you may have had a negative trim uh, pitch before and when you neutralize it, it's gonna go back to the center position your nose is gonna start flying up and I'll show you that. So I'm going to go ahead and reset my trim and the nose pitches up just as we expected. So I'm going to come back down again. I'm going to uh, essentially put the pitch attitude where I want it to be. Uh, initiate the trim, release it, center of the stick. Now the reason it's very important to uh, neutralize your joystick within five sec uh, 0.5 seconds after uh, releasing the trim button is that after the uh, trim is initiated, the um, attitude will be at the, uh, the trim location you set, but if you still have your stick uh, at a negative pitch, it will be compounded to the, um, the trimmer location. So again, let me uh, show you this to better explain it. So I'm going to go ahead and neutralize my uh, trim first. Get some attitude to show this. So I'm going to uh, pitch down to 10 degrees, initiate the trimmer, release it, and I'm still holding down. Now, as you can see, the nose pitched down quite a bit because it had reset to that new trim position. Plus, on top of that, I still had my stick forward and I did not uh, neutralize it. So it was essentially was uh, double the, um, the amount of forward cyclic uh, input on the aircraft. 
So again, generally when you're um, uh, trimming the aircraft, um, you'll do it when um, you want to uh, drastically change your speed according to your pitch angle or going into a hover. Um, but by no means um, do you need to be holding down the trimmer button uh, when uh, you do any kind of maneuver. Uh, for me, it's um, more of a rare event than a common event um, when uh, you're know, flying most missions. So I hope that sheds some uh, uh, light on the trimmer and hopefully answers some of your questions and uh, will help you uh, better fly the aircraft. Thanks.